now and then I get uh, to a point where I'm unable to think of the issues of life like marriage and relationships and uh, personal direction um, there isn't anything um, that I have not said that isn't, isn't in a blog article or isn't in a video I've just decided that this is a better form of um, of communication until and until I'm able to uh, concentrate on the personal and the issues of mental health. I'm gonna dedicate some some series um, to politics. Again, my name is Mr. Jesse Ledesma. It is September 17th, approximately 3:58 p.m. Central Time. United States of America today is at a critical juncture in American history. It is arrogant to think that you know everything and I'm not going to presume to say uh, presume to think that I know everything but there's some things that I do know um, because of what I've lived and because of what I've seen. The, uh, Mr. Obama, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama concerns me a lot one because of his ideology and two because the reality is that no one person can shape American political um, American policy no one person can do that as we, as we saw excuse me I'm gonna take a drink of my root beer as we saw with Bush um, the idea of privatization of Social Security is a good idea. Many people manage their own investments through their employer or personally and retire on million dollars or more. Social Security is doesn't give the majority of people on Social Security will not receive enough on a monthly payment to sustain an average life with the basics. That's the reality of it. And for Obama to be telling the people that he's going to go to Washington and he's going to fix all the supposed problems and everything is going to be great is wrong. If anybody believes him, you're believing a lie. Cause what we saw with Bush trying to privatize, uh, make Social Security private, uh, and, and make retirement a personal issue, was how difficult it is to do things with the type of people that are involved in American government. That's the first thing. He's saying things he knows he cannot accomplish. The other thing is ideology on the economy. Why don't you talk there is a reason why many of us are excuse me, scared of the idea of turning <coughs> the American relationship between government and private industry into something that resembles socialism. I was born in Mexico. When I was four years old, my family came over to the United States of America. I know the system in Mexico. You want to see what a country under socialist ideas looks like? Look at Mexico. Fifty years ago, Mexico was a socialist state. The government tried to provide for the people. And people were have still, to this day, are still brainwashed under those ideas. the culture suffers today because the promises that government made to the people the people no longer have confidence in government and there's a corrupt system of business people and politicians against the workers the minimum wage in Mexico is three dollars a day 
and the reason that is is because of manipulation of government officials by business people to keep those wages that low you can't live on on on, on three dollars a day not even in the Mexican economy but the people no longer believe in government they don't have any confidence in government they have gripes and complaints but they have no they don't trust the government and society is decaying I live here in a border town between um, border town El Paso Texas where the neighboring city in Mexico is Juarez beginning this year um, to now it has been reported that over 700 people have died on the streets uh, between uh, the war between the two uh, big drug families but the the, the life in Mexico I, I tell everybody when you look at Mexico you gotta realize people don't pay taxes people bribe the tax collector people don't pay traffic citations they bribe the police officer that pulls them over people don't pay import duties they bribe the customs officers when they're when they're coming into the country with mer merchandise they know they're not supposed to bring or it's over the value that's permitted to bring when you build a relationship where government presumes to give the message that the government is going to take care of people eventually government cannot do it and when government cannot do it people turn against government and then you have chaos and you have people who no longer believe and who no longer are invested in the um, the success and welfare of that nation in the United States of America there's have been, there have been promises broken on all levels on all fronts but a lot of those promises should have never been made and, and people who are, are standing there waiting for these promises to be fulfilled aren't doing for themselves and that is a tragedy because no one is without uh, resources no one is without knowledge wisdom intelligence two arms two legs a back a brain to think and and to assess uh, the environment to read the classified ads to be aware of the jobs that are out there to understand the resources in the community uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this uh, little short clip and move on to the next one thank you for listening uh, and I wish you well